What we're going to talk about now is just different classifications of numbers, okay? And more specifically, what we're going to talk about is real numbers, which are basically any number that can be written on your number line. Okay, so if your number line is just a spectrum of numbers, you have the numbers like 0, 1 on there, but you also have a number of different numbers in between there, okay? And so we're going to talk about the different breakdown on all the classifications of those numbers. So where I want to start is on natural and counting numbers. And basically what those are are the numbers 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. 842, any sort of number that is a whole number larger than 0. Okay. Whole numbers include 0. So basically a whole number is a counting number plus 0. And they continue upward as well. Integers include the negative spectrum. So you are going you know, up to say negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth. Okay. So we have our counting numbers, only positive. Whole numbers throw in 0. Integers throw in negatives. The next part is what we call rational numbers. And rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. Okay. So this can get a little bit tricky because a number like any integer can be written as a fraction. Negative 2 can be written as negative 2 over 1, therefore it can be a rational number. That also includes things like 1 fourth or 0.23 because 0.23 can be written as 23 over 100. Okay? Um, basically any number can be written as a fraction. The last thing are what we call irrational numbers, which can't be written as a fraction. And examples of those are, say, like pi, remember pi from geometry, or something like the square root of 3, anything like that. Okay? So whenever we're dealing with different types of numbers, this is just some language that we are dealing with. Okay, and one thing to be aware of is we can often simplify things up to put them into a category they may not appear. Like we're used to saying, okay, radicals are irrational, square roots. But something like the square root of 36, we know what that is. So therefore that square root doesn't have to be there because the square root of 36 is actually 6, which would then put it into all three of these categories. Okay, say like two-fourths. You can simplify it to one-half. It's going to be a fractional number. That actually didn't change too much, so never mind that example. But something like eight-halves, you can simplify that to four. So it's not just a rational number. It can also be a integer, whole number, or counting number as well. Okay? So just sort of looking at your classifications, always make sure you simplify it before you jump to a conclusion as to what type of number it is.